kind of a you know high level geek level thing, right? Why are they even doing this? Why aren't they just not broadening the tax base or raising the rate, right? And it's because Colorado's Tabor, right? So they, they can't. Correct. Right. So the idea, so my understanding is that, you know, sometime in 2021, there was a Senate bill that was signed that kind of authorized the ability to impose this fee for kind of infrastructure roads to kind of support that, the roads. Because if you've ever driven in Colorado, it's pretty bad. Um, but by calling it a fee, it is generally exempt from the Tabor requirement of going through a vote of, you know, a public vote to raise taxes. Correct. So now this is currently, someone has filed a motion or, you know, I'm only a CPA. So the true legal legalness of this um, is there is someone is suing the state of Colorado for this fee because they're saying it violates Tabor. Um, but high level, what this fee is, it is a 27 cent charge per sale of a taxable good delivered via motor vehicle mm -hmm. in the state of Colorado. All right. So we'll stop there as like a taxable motor vehicle delivery. Right. right. So if it's so, a wholesale sale, it's not subject to it. Well, I mean, it's, it's, fraught with, it's fraught with issues at every level, right? I mean, there, there's legal issues like, you, you know, Meredith, just, you know, like you said about the, the you know, the, the mail slot, Tabor. Um, Tabor. So there's a lot of legal issues involved with this that doesn't seem like they've kind of thought it all the way through. Um, but also the logistical issues, mechanical issues, you know, are, are from a systems perspective. Right. Administration. You know, yep. Yeah. So so there's, you know, it's it's kind of a small thing that is not a small thing.